What's up YouTube? Today we're going to be installing the infamous cold air intake. So in all reality this is probably more for aesthetics than it is for actual performance. This is the uh, Crown Vic police interceptor intake tube and system and all that. Uh, I doubt it's going to give me much, maybe a couple horsepower from a little bit more airflow, but we're going to be doing this AFE intake and they make a, uh, a cold air intake. They call it a cold air intake. It comes with the heat shield and the large element air filter, so it, it might be pretty good. Um, it is for a 2005 to 2011 Crown Victoria or a 2005 to 2010 Grand Marquis. Now, you were probably saying, so, but wait, I thought this was a 2004. And you're absolutely correct. What I've already done is one of the first modifications I made was I ditched the factory Grand Marquis airbox and 70 millimeter MAF. I went to the junkyard, pulled a 80 millimeter slot style MAF, Crown Vic police interceptor intake, zip tube, all that from it was either a 2006 or a 2007 car. Uh, installed that. Now you do have to rewire your MAF. And the car does have to be tuned in order to use this, but it gives you better tuning. Um, it, it just overall performs better and gives you a lot more options as far as performance uh, for future modifications going to the 80 millimeter math. Uh, if you're super, super serious about performance, uh, you can go for a, a 90 millimeter math tool, but that's, that's going to be a bunch of custom stuff. This is a little bit more straightforward. Now, that being said, again, this is a 2004 converted it to a 2005 plus police interceptor intake setup with the MAF. That is then a direct swap because I've already got the correct style MAF. Uh, obviously the intake and everything goes in the same spot. Now, I also have a 75 millimeter uh, throttle body and matching trick flow intake or upper inner intake plenum 75 millimeters works out to be just shy of three inches i think it's 2.95 inches the intake tube on this intake is uh, three inches exactly so it's not going to be any restriction uh, although the tube looks smaller, you have to realize that this this uh, PI intake tube is a bunch of plastic. So it's it's thicker. It also has a little bit harder time going over the larger throttle body. This in turn has got the rubber boots. So we're going to see how, how that goes. The airflow shouldn't be restricted at all. Um, maybe a little bit airflow. Again, because this car already has... The updated intake 80 millimeter MAF. I don't expect to see much in the way of gains. Maybe a couple horsepower, if that. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It's mainly just because it looks cool. <laughs> um, moving forward, uh, I do plan on doing a set of uh, custom cab cams from uh, Apocalypse Performance. Todd Warren custom grind cams. Uh, that's going to be... You know, I'll give him the specs of the car, and he'll spec out the cams to what I'm looking for in order to just kind of max out my current setup. Who knows what I'll do for performance in the future. I'll probably want to stay NA rather than going with boost, maybe a trick flow top end, but that's a ways down the road. So with that, let's get started tearing this apart. This one was a bit stubborn. Soaked it with PB Blaster and it still took the whole damn stud with it. So, pull this out. 
I'll have to let's see if I took the took the whole stud right out of the car. I don't know if I'm gonna use that mounting spot. Again, with this new intake, I'll have to take a look here and we'll have to figure it out. But everything just pulls out. There's nothing trick or special about pulling the intakes out of these cars. And then once you get the main part of the airbox off here, it's just a couple of uh, star heads to take the mass airflow sensor out of the housing here. And then you just mount it to your new intake tube just like that make sure it's facing the right direction of course very important it will mount backwards and if that element right there is not facing your intake uh, well it uh, it ain't gonna work right what I am gonna do is uh, before I put this back on the car is I'm gonna hit this with a little bit of this mass airflow sensor cleaner uh, if you're running an oil filtered oil oiled filter try saying that five times fast an oiled filter like i was uh the drop in k and n intake and then this uh, afe filter is also going to be oiled um, you want to do that periodically because that oil will get on the uh the mass airflow sensor and uh, your your readings won't be as accurate so just as simple as hitting that with some of this cleaner just make sure it gets in there gets in the element and I'll take care of that. It'll dry in a couple of seconds. You put it on the car. All right, guys, here's the entire kit. Got your large oiled element filter, intake tube, the heat shield. Uh, it comes with a grommet that should fit against your hood for the heat shield, um, and your assorted connections. And that just, everything bolts with factory mounts and all that. So it's, uh, See if we can get her put in. I gotta go find my channel locks and see if I can get this uh, this out of there because it does. See that hole right there at the bottom? It does use that that bolt also. So, see if I can get that out. Hi right, guys. Well, I did not find my channel locks, so that bolt is is just gonna live there now. That's its that's its home. Uh, what I did find in my vast repertoire of automotive related things that i've taken apart and lost and found and is this bolt seems to have the uh the same style thread pattern i tried it just now it seems to thread in just fine so i hit it with some uh, rust reformer that i had lying around to make sure it doesn't rust and looks halfway decent it's black so uh we're just going to use that hopefully it threads all the way in we'll uh, we'll see how much I was struggling with this uh, air filter here or really a lot of the rest of the kit this uh, when it comes all the, the parts the uh, the oil parts is, or the, uh, the rubber parts as well here are oiled I don't know if that's to aid in assembly it does help a little bit but holy cow if you try and tighten these things down to what you would think would be an acceptable level to make sure they don't go anywhere the uh, 
in turn go somewhere uh, because the grease well it's greasy and they slide all over the place so I just hit this with just a little bit of brake cleaner I was careful not to uh, you know just kind of paying attention to not affecting the rubber or you know making sure that that wasn't gonna hurt anything but oh that worked it's staying on it's good and tight solid plug back in our, uh, our mass airflow here Tuck that in a little bit here and fire her up, see what she does. Bar so is good. Seems like everything's working as it should. Boy, does that look nice under the hood. Again, I don't think I'm going to gain anything from this except for that cool factor. There you have it, guys. So that's a cold air install for your Panther platform car. Now, I want to clarify my car is already tuned. Uh, Most speed shop, I've got a tune on it. It's already got the tune for the, uh, the 80 millimeter uh, MAF. And this should flow maybe just a little bit more than the uh, the stock police interceptor intake. Guys that have run the 70 millimeter MAFs with these uh, AFE intakes have reported that they end up with check engine lights. Um, that being said, that's without a tune. That's not putting any tune on the car. I would guarantee if you then go to Marty's or Moe's Speed Shop, get a tune from Marty Oaks. Uh, even with a 70 millimeter MAF, your check engine light should go away. So just a heads up for that, guys. Uh, if you're running a 70 millimeter MAF, everything else factory, no tune, you're probably gonna have to get a tune. I should be safe. But if I'm not, and I throw a check engine light, all I gotta do is call uh, Marty up and have him email me another tune that accounts for the cold air intake. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, thank you for watching. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, All right, so after a quick drive, my butt dyno tells me that I've gained absolutely nothing. Doesn't feel any faster. And I'm sure if I gained anything, it was a horsepower or two, you're not going to feel that. Uh, but hey, it looks cool, and that's... It looks cool. Maybe it'll help with uh, supporting mods like a cam. Maybe the increased airflow, maybe a, uh, the cam would be able to take better advantage of that. Either way, guys. Uh, yep. Anyway, that's your cold air intake. Thanks again.